Hello, my friends from the Church of St. Luke's in Burlington. This is a very brief time that we can share with you over the internet with prayer, with praise, with a short reading of the scriptures in a time of virtual gathering. So our communion may grow even in this time in which we are forced to be separated from one another. I invite you to pray with me, to listen to the scriptures, and to have this time together as a time dedicated to our communion in our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. From Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Increase the days of the king's life, his years for many generations. May he be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. Then I will ever sing in praise of your name and fulfill my vows day after day. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A lesson from the Epistle of the Apostle St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, beginning in the 15th verse. Ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people, and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand, in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who is everything, in every way. Here ends the lesson. The Canticle, the 90, Psalm 95. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills that are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand, hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, 
and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand. Oh, that today you will hearken to His voice. Let us pray for this parish. O oh God, the Holy Spirit, sanctifier of the faithful, sanctify this parish by your abiding presence. Bless those who minister in holy things. Enlighten the minds of your people more and more with the light of the everlasting gospel. Bring erring souls to the knowledge of God our Savior and those who are walking in the way of life keep steadfast unto the end. Give patience to the sick and afflicted and renew them in body and soul. Guard from forgetfulness of thee those who are strong and prosperous increasing us your manifold gifts of grace and make us all to be fruitful in good works. O blessed Spirit, whom with the Father and the Son together we worship and glorify, one God, world without end. Amen. This is a poem and a prayer written by Deborah Ann Belka. Lord, teach me how to pray. Sometimes I don't know what to say. My tongue seems to twist into a knot and my word so often in it gets caught. So much going on in my wandering mind that my words are often too hard to find. And though I long to tell you them all, they seem to slip and from my mind fall. There are so many burdens that I see from those who ask for prayers from me, and I grasp and moan about how to entreat, but I can't find the words that are concrete. Lord, help me with what I am to say, for I know not what I shall pray, but I know you will hear my every groan, and the Spirit will deliver them to your throne. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And we say the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ 
the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.